Doug from Sound Pure, Alan of PMI. We're going to talk about the big guy, the A range, the one that we've really been looking forward to. Beautiful, beautiful unit. Can't wait to hear it. Let's let's uh, let's talk about it a minute, and then let's 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 run the run this uh, track through it. Okay. Well, thanks, Doug. And so we're back again to the Triton history, and uh, this was pretty much the console that started it all. And uh, the A range EQ was, you know, just dubbed by producers like Ken Scott and uh, Malcolm Toft, uh, uh, Roy Thomas Baker, you know, just, 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 you know, Tony Visconti. These are the guys that track David Bowie, Queen, all, you know, Elton John, all the top acts back then were done on A-range consoles. And we decided that we wanted to come out with an accurate reproduction of the A-range mic pre and EQ in a two-channel module. So it's been about two years now, and believe me, uh, we learn a lot from start to finish, but we accomplished our goal. And along the way, all those people that I met, including people like uh, 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 um, the Robs, who are known for Cherokee and the A-Range, all these people have heard these studios. Avest Studios, which is an A-Range studio. Monkey Pod, which is an A-Range uh, studio. Uh, we really took this to them and they were the ones that did the A-B comparisons, and they told us what was right, and they told us what was wrong. We searched high and low to find the original Souda transformers. We searched high and low to find the original Mike Pre, which actually was a Jensen transformer. So after two years, I introduce you to the new Trident A-Range, and it is an exact reproduction of the original EQ and Mike Pre. Now, the only difference was is this was in a vertical position on a console. Now it's in a horizontal layout. So what makes the EQ different? It's just so tonal. And the reason why it's tonal is the two mid bands are coil inductive EQ. So there's actually wound coils in there that add that sound and give it that tone and give it that beautiful majestic top air. So the two mid bands a coil EQ and the high and low are selectable between many different frequencies and boost and cut, a la the slider. So each slider gives you a 15 dB boost or 15 dB cut. So you have a full range in stepped increments between all the settings for your mic and your line for your input gain. You have phase reverse, you have 48 volt phantom power, you select between mic and line. You have a series of low pass filters that you could select between 15, 12K, and 9K. So in any of the low end, you can select any of those filters. Same with the high pass filters, you can select between 25, 50, and 100 hertz. Simply press the button and select which one you want. The EQ is selectable in or out, and there is an insert in there, and the insert is also selectable pre or post. And that is on a, a, a balanced send and a balanced return. So it's very, very high end. On the four different bands, uh, you can select different frequencies for boost and cut. So as we start down here, we start with this one where you can dial in on at, at uh, nine, nine kilohertz, uh, uh, seven, five, and three. On the, uh, that's the um, uh, mid-high. You've got your high frequency at 15, 12, 10, and eight. You've got your uh, uh, upper mid, uh, um, which is 2, 1, 5, and 250, and your low frequency at 150, 180, and 50 hertz. Each one of those selectable frequencies are boost by 15 or cut by 15. So it's extremely flexible. So I'm just going to start sweeping some frequencies for you, and you can kind of get an idea of what it does. High frequency. Very subtle shifts when you move from 8 to 10 to 12 to 15. We'll go into the mids.
puts a little air on top. Down low. Many of the frequencies overlap. This is just a lot of overlapping. Ten K, eight K, and we'll go one K, seven. Throw in the high pass filters. And as Alan said, a lot of flexibility with this EQ. There's a lot you can do, and, and you're right. We really can't do it justice here. Can't do it justice here, but it gives you a little bit of a, a little bit of a flavor. But you know, it's it's it truly is an authentic reproduction. It's not our version of or our attempt of to be like. It is a real Trident, again founded by Malcolm Toft and Barry Porter. Those were the two original guys that started it and developed this. Unfortunately, Barry Porter is deceased, but Malcolm did carry on. And this was Malcolm's tribute, not only to his legacy with Trident, but also to Barry's. And again, everybody who is an A-range guru, who is mixed on these things all over, says the same thing. These are the real deal. Alan, thank so, you very thank much. You very, much. very excited about this, and we can't wait to hear it.